Windows 10 can burn CDs and DVDs out of the box without the need for additional software. You can burn data disks, audio CDs, and even ISO image files, all of which we'll cover in this video. For our first example, we'll burn a data disk. So to get started, insert a blank disk into your CD or DVD writer. Windows will detect it and ask what you'd like to do with it. So just click or tap the notification, then choose Burn Files to Disk. If the notification doesn't appear automatically, you can also bring it up manually by opening File Explorer from the taskbar and going to This PC on the left, then double-clicking your DVD RW drive from the right. Next, enter a disk title, which can be anything up to 16 characters long. Then choose how you want to use it. Like a USB flash drive allows you to add, edit, and remove files from the disk anytime, which you can use on any Windows computer running Windows XP or later. Or choose with the CD or DVD player to use it on non-Windows PCs or in compatible CD or DVD players that can play digital media formats like JPEG, MP3, or MP4. Note that this option doesn't allow you to edit or remove the files once they've been burned. For this example, we'll use it like a USB flash drive and click Next. Windows will then format the disk, which might take a minute or so. When it's done, double-click your DVD RW drive to open it up so you can add the files you want to burn. An easy way to do that is to right-click File Explorer's taskbar icon and open a second copy of the app. Next, drag the window from the top over to the left edge of the screen to snap it to that side. Then, select the other window on the right to snap it to the other side. Now you can drag and drop files between the two. Just browse your content from the left window and select all the items you want to transfer, holding down the control key on your keyboard to choose multiple items. If you select the wrong item by mistake, click it again to deselect it, or click anywhere else to undo the selection. Alternatively, if the items you want are all grouped together, you can select the first one in the group, hold down the shift key on your keyboard, then choose the last one, which will automatically select everything in between. Lastly, you can also just click and drag a selection box around the items you want. Once you've made your selections, just drag them over to the empty disk to burn them, which could take several minutes depending on the size of your data. Another way you can add files or folders to the disk is by right-clicking them, selecting Send To from the pop-up menu, then selecting your DVD RW drive from the list. Lastly, you can also add the selected items by going to the Share tab on the ribbon above and choosing Burn to Disk. To view the burn progress, click More Details on the Transfer box where you can view the copy speed as well as the time and items remaining. You can also pause the operation anytime, then resume it again later on, as well as cancel it completely if you change your mind. Once the burn's completed, you can remove the disk by going back to This PC on the left then right-clicking the DVD RW drive and selecting Eject from the pop-up menu. This will close the session so you can use the disk on other computers. Then eject the disk automatically when it's done. You can now use the disk in any Windows PC running XP or later. In the next example, we'll burn a bunch of videos onto a DVD so we can view them on a TV using a compatible DVD player. First, insert the blank DVD then tap or click the notification that appears and choose Burn Files to Disk. Next, enter a title for the disk like before, but this time choose With a CD or DVD Player. This will open the blank disk in File Explorer, so just follow the same procedure we used earlier to browse to the data you'd like to burn. For this example, we'll add a bunch of clips from our Videos folder, so once you've selected the items you want, just drag them over to the blank disk in the usual way. This time, the files aren't written to disk immediately, but are simply marked as ready for burning, so you can add additional files if you want, then burn them all in one go at the end. When you're ready to burn them, head over to the Manage tab under Drive Tools above and click the Finish Burning button on the ribbon. You can then edit the disk title, set the recording speed, and also close the wizard automatically on completion. Then click Next to start the burn process, which could take several minutes like before. When it's done, you can create another copy of the disk or just click Finish to close, after which your disk is ready to use. For our third example, we'll burn an audio CD that you can play back in any regular audio CD player, like the one in your car or your hi-fi. 
To get started, insert a blank CD into your DVD-RW drive, then open up Windows Media Player by searching for it from the taskbar, then selecting it from the results. The first time you open it up, you can choose the initial settings. We'll go for the recommended settings. Then click Finish to start it up, after which it'll search your music folder and add its contents to your library. In our case, we've got a bunch of podcasts in MP3 format. When we burn them to CD, Media Player will convert them automatically to audio CD format so they can be played back in any consumer CD player. To compose your audio CD, click the Burn tab on the upper right. Then just drag the titles you want over to the burn list on the right. Most audio CDs can fit around 80 minutes of audio on them. So as you drag items, it'll tell you how long each title is and how much time is remaining on the disc. If you go over the 80 minutes, it'll start a second disc automatically, as shown here. If you don't want to run over to a second disc, you can right-click an item and remove it from your burn list, then replace it with something a little shorter so that everything fits on a single disc. Once you've composed your list, you can then drag items up or down to reorder the list, which will change the playback order. You can also click the heading above to give the disc a title. When you're ready, click the Start Burn button above to begin burning the disc, which might take several minutes depending on the speed of your burner. Once it's complete, you can eject the disc, then close Windows Media Player to finish up, after which you're all set. In our final example, we'll burn an ISO image file to disk. An ISO is an exact copy of a CD or DVD and is normally used for distributing software apps, including those you can download from the web. To begin, insert a blank CD or DVD into your writable drive, then close the regular disk burning window that appears. Next, open File Explorer from the taskbar and browse to the ISO file on your computer. Once you've selected it, Click the Manage tab under Disk Image Tools above, then click the Burn button from the ribbon and set your options. For example, you can choose the disk burner you want to use and also verify the disk after burning to ensure it was created successfully, although this will add additional time to the burning process. When you're ready, click Burn to begin. Simple! Once the burn's completed, just hit Close to finish up. So, if you need to burn different types of CDs or DVDs, Windows 10's got you covered.